you know, when I started uh, telling people out in the real world what uh, this rock star did to me intentionally, it's going to be a slightly different scenario than um, when, uh, you know, all these people out in cyberspace are thinking I'm ugly and thinking I'm crazy because I'm going to be meeting men up for Craigslist who know what I've been doing out in cyberspace. And I'm going to tell them they're going to see my pain, they're going to see my tears, and before I ruin my makeup by crying and telling my story, they are going to see how attractive I really am. I didn't deserve for this to happen to me. Where I'm coming from, Chad Kroger has known who I was for going on 10 years now. So he knew all the pain that I've been through, he knew all the suffering, he knew what my ex had done to me. And he chose to hurt me more. He chose, there was no reason for it. You know what that's like? I'll tell you what it's like. You know all that, that bullying that's in, in the news nowadays? That's what that's like. Because these rock stars fucked with me. That's what they did. Making me think that Jack Kroger cared about me. Making me think that he wrote songs about me, that Dark Horse was about me. And then not even caring that the whole planet now is it's calling me crazy and ugly and doesn't believe one word I say thinks I made this all up. Was that right for him to do? No, it wasn't. It's akin to that cyberspace bullying crowd. It's not illegal, is it? But it's wrong as hell and it leads people to commit suicide. It leads people to commit suicide. So, I'm I'm going to be going into a homeless shelter on living on the streets and that's what my life, my cosmic joke of a lifetime has turned into. I'm never going to see this dog again, but I can barely feel anymore anyway. There was no reason for this. Todd Kruger didn't want me, didn't care about me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Even if you did write those songs about me and you didn't mean them and you're gonna go and share your life hard and bad with Chris Madam, leave me the phone. Don't tell me. I believe that he set out intentionally that this rockstar wanted to hurt me. Because that's what happened. There was no reason for this. It's fictional to carry, you know, make her think the boy likes her so they can all laugh at her, laugh their asses off at her. It's wrong. Any way you look at it, it's wrong. And I'm going to be telling people, and they're going to know it was wrong with the Earl S. and the New York Times did too. Humiliating me in front of the planet, telling the whole planet I'm ugly and crazy, whatever. Well, guess what? I'm going to be meeting with a certain select of people, certain select men, and they're, I'm going to make myself look gorgeous first. I'll ruin all my makeup and tell them I still have crying, but these men already know what I've been doing, and they're going to see in person, and they're going to believe me. They're going to know what these people, these fucks out of cyberspace, don't know. And I'm telling the guy that fucking true. Chad Kroger did to me on purpose and then crawled in the middle of the There was no reason for this. None. 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 So, whatever. Whatever.